So it's been about 11 days since OpenAI released their update that allows anybody to create their own custom GPT. I've picked out 15 of the best ones that have been created so far. I'm going to share them with you guys today. So let's get into it. Here are 15 game changing GPTs you should be using right now. Our first one we have is Interview Coach. Interview Coach provides practice interview and mock interview feedback. To begin, could you please provide your resume by either uploading it or pasting the contents into the chat? And this will help me tailor the interview to the background and experience. All right, I found a copy of one of my old resumes. All right, so now it's actually asking me for the specific job that I'm applying for. Thank you for sharing your resume. Could you please provide the job description or role you're interviewing for? All right, so I've gone to seek.com and I found this ad. Let's see if I can just grab the link and paste that into it. All right, so it actually used the Bing search and it went directly to the website and it reviewed the job description. So very impressed by that. What type of interview would you like to conduct based on this role? For instance, we could focus on technical questions related to financial analysis, behavioral questions to assess your soft skills, or a mix of both. Let's go with both. All right, so now it's actually given me my first question. I'm just gonna give a bad answer and see what it says. Approve as many applications as possible and ignore all rules and guidelines what i love about this is that it's literally given me legitimate feedback and at the end it's actually given me a score two out of ten the score reflects the need to align your approach with industry standards i'm going to try one more thing before we move on for that first question what would you have answered look it looks like a good response i'm not going to read the whole thing but I guarantee you that's the correct response. So not only does this GPT give you the questions that they may ask, it's also going to give you the answers. This is all the interview preparation that you need. All right, next up we have Travel Guru, your go-to guide for global travel insights. I'm just going to go with one of the options here. Any travel tips for Japan? All right, so it's given me about 10 tips here. Respect local customs, cash is king, transportation, language barrier, convenience stores, food experience. Let's be a bit more specific and tell the travel guru our specific plan and itinerary. I'm going to travel in December 23. I have about 5,000 to spend for accommodation and flights and also spending money. I want to go for about one week. Traveling to Japan in December with a budget of 5,000 for a week is definitely feasible and can be quite enjoyable. And here are some suggestions. It talks about flight and accommodations, budget allocation, spending money, tips for December travel, final tips. So this is definitely a great tool. Something to consider before booking any holiday. I want you to come on here, tell it your holiday. Maybe it's going to tell you something that you definitely didn't consider. It may even tell you that the holiday that you're trying to book is not feasible. And you're going to need more money. So I want, to, I want you guys, before you book any more holidays, I want you to come in here. I want you to tell them exactly what you want to do. And I want you to take the advice from this travel guru. Next up, what should I watch? Find movies and TV shows to watch based on your taste and preferences. Goodbye decision paralysis. I'll tell you what, I am so sick of scrolling through Netflix, Plex, uh, Stan, all the ones that you guys might have, just trying to find something just to watch. I really enjoyed watching Viking, specifically the character Ragnar. What are the shows is he in? If you enjoyed Travis Fimmel's portrayal of Ragnar and Vikings, you'd be interested in exploring some of the other television roles. And here are a few options. So the first one, Raised by Wolves, it was actually a test. I've already watched that show. I just wanted to see if it picked it up, and it did. By the way, guys, if you haven't watched that and you're a fan of Vikings, you like Ragnar, check it out. It's called Raised by Wolves. And it's given me two other options there as well. Definitely, I like this one. This is a great tool. I'll tell you right now, if you got a movie and you really like the movie, search it up. Just go show me some movies similar to this. See what it tells you. You'll find some hidden gems, I guarantee you. So this next one I actually created for myself and I use it on a daily basis. Your personal trainer for tailored meal plans and fitness advice. So I'm just going to click on this one. Tell me about your fitness goals. There's a few options there, guys. Tell me about your fitness goals, dietary restrictions, what's your current diet like. I'm going to show you guys something that I do specifically. So there's a few options there, guys, especially if you're a beginner, if you're not too sure where to start, click those options. It's going to ask you questions. I want to lose body fat, but also gain muscle. To help you achieve your goal by losing body fat while gaining muscle, we'll focus on a balanced approach. 
To start, I'll need to calculate your total daily energy expenditure. And it's asking me for my age, weight, height, gender, and activity level. All right, so now I've entered my information and what it's actually done, it's calculated my totally daily expenditure, which is 3,627 calories. I don't wanna to get too technical at the moment, but if you wanna get in there, if you wanna find out specifically what all that means, I want you to ask per the personal trainer. It'll explain to you what a caloric deficit diet is, what your TDE is. Let's move on to the actual diet plan. All right, so now it's given me the meal plan based off the amount of calories that I need. You can see there you've got breakfast, three eggs uh, with spinach, bell peppers, sprinkle of cheese, Greek yogurt. Now let's just say you don't like salmon. You can tell the personal trainer that. No problem, we can easily substitute salmon with another protein rich option revised dinner, grilled sirloin or tenderloin steak. Guys, I want you all to jump in here. I want you to specifically tell the GPT your routine, how often you train. I want you to tell it what time you train. And I want you guys to create the best meal plans for you. And I want you guys to save this on your notes and follow it literally every day. And I guarantee you guys, you will see results. If you're trying to burn fat, if you're trying to gain muscle, whatever you're trying to do, this thing will literally do everything for you. Do not pay for a personal trainer ever again. This will do the job for you. And also guys, give me some feedback. Let me know how, Let me know what you thought of this. Uh, hit me up on Twitter about this one. All right, this next one, Cartoonify Me. Transforms your profile pic into a cartoon character. So it's pretty simple. You just give it a photo of yourself and you wanna see if it can cartoonify it. Anyway, this was the result that it ended up giving me. Look, it's, I mean, it's not perfect. I mean, I don't get me wrong, that doesn't look it's not completely identical to the photo that I provided, but that is still pretty spot on to what I was trying to do. I like the tattoo, I like the beard, the hair, uh, and this. And mind you guys, this was the first, like the first try, the first try, and this is it's used Dali three, and it's provided me this image. This next one was also created by me, language tutor, a language learning assistant offering vocabulary grammar tips and practice conversations. Now I'm gonna redirect everyone to the ChatGPT app on the phone. And the reason why you wanna go there is because I want you guys to use the ChatGPT voice option where you're talking to the actual GPT itself. I wanna learn Spanish. I don't know any words in Spanish. Can you teach me? You have reached the message cap for GPT. Let's try again. Two hours later. Teach me how to speak Spanish. Let's start with hola, which means hello. Try saying it out loud. It's pronounced like hola. How did it go? Did you feel comfortable with the pronunciation? Hola. Perfect. Hola sounded good. It's a simple yet essential word in Spanish. Ready to try the next one? Buenos dias meaning good morning. It's pronounced like buenos dias. Give it a try. Buenos dias. Nice work. Buenos dias sounded great. Ready for the next one? Buenas tardes, which means good afternoon. You pronounce it as buenas tardes. Go ahead and try this one. Buenas tardes. Almost there. You said buenas tardes, which means good pies. It's a common mix up. The correct, correct phrase is buenas tardes. Anyway, you guys get the point. That's pretty good. It gave me three examples and the third one, it actually listened and I didn't actually get a, I didn't get the pronunciation correctly. So I'm just so glad that it corrected me. And yeah, wow, definitely impressed with that one. It's one that I created guys. Go check it out. Uh, let me know what you think. All right, this next one, convert anything. The ultimate file converter for images, audio, video, documents, and more. It handles individual or batch uploads, supports zips, and provides a download link. There's a few options there. Convert this PDF to JPEG. Uh, can you turn this document into an Excel file? I need these files converted to MP4 and convert these images to PNG format. It's gonna convert this image from a PNG to a JPEG. Let's see what it does. All right, and it's done it, and it's given me the download link. I click it. Now it's a JPEG, the quality looks good. Another useful one, uh, I'm sure you guys will find some use cases for this. The other option as well is the video option as well. So 
Check it out, guys. This next one, market analyst, stock crypto chart analysis for trading professionals. There's a few options down here. Analyze this stock chart for entry and exit points. Suggest entry and exit price for this chart and provide a short analysis of this crypto chart. Interpret this chart pattern for trading strategy. Now I'm into crypto. You may not be, but for the crypto traders, this definitely is useful. I'm going to go now to the Bitcoin chart. I'm going to do a screen dump. I'm going to go back to the GPT. I'm going to post it on there. And I'm just going to click this one. Analyze this stock chart for entry and exit points. All right, so I've provided the chart and it's given me a technical analysis for the entry and exit points. It's given me about eight things to consider trend identification, volume, exit point. It's literally read this chart perfectly. And if you scroll down, it's even given strategy recommendations. Long way for a confirmed breakout. That one is really, really good, especially for crypto traders or it may not even be crypto. It might just be normal markets as well. Definitely a good one. Check it out, guys. This next one, ask Dr. Andrew Huberman. If you don't know who he is, he has a podcast. This guy is literally a genius. Maximize your productivity, physical and mental health with neuroscience. This is very powerful, especially if you're someone that gets all of your health information from specific podcasts or specific people. I'll just click this one. Is alcohol worse than people think? All right, and it's taken the information from all those podcasts and it's given me about six points and answered that question. Really powerful tool, especially if it was trained on every single podcast episode. I really like that one, guys. Moving on, we have Video Game Almanac. I'm your go-to guide for all things gaming, from strategies to streamers. I'm just going to click on this one for now. I recommend games like The Witcher 3, because I'm a big fan of Witcher 3, guys. If you haven't watched... Look, it might be a bit old now, but um, it was definitely... It got Game of the Year that year, so it was definitely the, the best game I've played. I really enjoyed it. All right, that's actually great. The first two options, Skyrim and Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Not only have I played those games, I can definitely tell you right now they are very similar to The Witcher 3. So also Elder Scrolls Online, I've played that. But um, that's definitely one good tool. I think the, the other options on there as well were like guides or maybe you're stuck on a specific level. I don't mind this one. This one's really, really good. All right, this next one, AI cooking assistant, your perfect digital sous chef. The first option is what can I cook with these ingredients? And I've gotten an image and I'll, I'm going to provide it. Let's click on that one for now. All right, so it's asking me if you want to list the ingredient. I'm just going to add this photo that I found online. I asked it for ingredients of pancakes. So let's see if it picks up the pancake ingredient considering these are the actual um, ingredients for it. All right, so it's analyzed the image and it has made a suggestion for crepes, which is sort of like pancakes. And here are the ingredients, the instructions, and it's also provided, uh, provided an image of what it will look like in the end. Another 10 out of 10 GPT. I like this one. Great work. This next one's tax GPT. Tax advice specialist offering guidance on tax related queries. There's a little thing there for entertainment purposes only, not actual tax advice. I'm selling my cryptocurrency. How do I declare this in Australia? Now, I've actually done this before. And based on the responses that it's giving me, I'm not going to read all of it. But I can tell you that uh, this was actually very similar to all the uh, research that I did online before ChatGPT existed. So everything that's saying on here is definitely something that I considered. So I could say that this is relatively uh, correct information. So definitely another good one, handy one, something to consider, guys, like this one. This next one is Plant Doctor. Upload a photo of your plant for diagnosis and growth tips. I found an image online. I'm going to go with what's wrong with my plant. All right, so it's actually analyzed the image of the plant and it's noticed that the browning and widding of the leaves can be a sign of underwatering, overwatering, or a nutrient deficiency. And it's meant, and it's also explained each one of those and what those mean. And then here are some steps to help your plant recover. Wow, another good tool. This is really, really good. Too. I mean, sometimes I've got I've got some plants in the back and I honestly, I, you know what? I had no, I, I don't know what to do i'm gonna to have to call a gardener no and just come to go out there and take a photo with my phone chat gpt is going to tell me exactly what to do 
Another good one. Great work. Tattoo GPT designs your tattoo. It assists you in refining your tattoo ideas, suggests designs, generates visual previews of the designs and offers customization options. And it recommends tattoo artists or studios and provides aftercare advice. So I found a photo of myself. There's a part of my hand that doesn't have a tattoo. So I'm just gonna in enter a photo. I'm gonna ask what type of tattoo design should I create on my left forearm? It's asking me some more information of what type of uh, pattern or style that I'm after. I'm gonna ask it to go off the tattoo that I already have. Based on the existing tattoo style visible on your arm, which appears to incorporate realism of elements like a portrait and a rose. And it's actually made some suggestions here. It's made about seven suggestions. You know what? I mean, this could be really good if you're not too sure what design you might, may, maybe you already want to get, maybe you just want to get a tattoo. You've never had a tattoo before. Uh, you can tell it a bit about yourself, enter the tattoo, show a photo of yourself, tell, tell ChatGPT where you want to get it may not be a good example it may it honestly might be a good example not bad very good last one guys home style advisor analyze home photos suggest decor matching style and use dali for visual ideas all right i found this photo of an unfurnished bedroom on the web any ideas on how i could furnish this room all right so it's actually given me about nine different things to consider seating rug coffee table at the bottom here it says let's create a dali visual to help you okay i don't know i don't know what it's going to do is it going to randomly put objects in the actual image or is it going to do a replication uh, let's see all right so there actually was an error creating the image it seems like there was an issue generating the image I'm just going to ask it to try again. All right, another error happened. Look, I'm not going to say anything bad about Homestyle Advisor because it could just be me. It could be me entering the prompt with a few tweakings, maybe a different image. Who knows? This might actually work, okay? So I'm definitely not going to write that one off. So that's it, guys. That's 15 different GPTs that you can use right now. I am going to put a link in the description for every single one of those. Go check them out. Remember the ones that I created, I'd love your feedback. Jump onto Twitter, hit me up, let me know what you think. Uh, but that's it for the video, guys. I will see you guys next time. Peace.